It's the season of caps and gowns and commencement speeches, and what better gift for the graduate in your life than Mike Nichols' 1967 film, The Graduate? Always timely, and perhaps never more so than right now. I'm just worried. Well, about what? I guess about my future. What about it? I don't know. I want it to be... To be what? Different. The script by Buck Henry and Carter Wallingham was based on a 1963 novel by Charles Webb. It took a little time for Mike Nichols to bring this to the screen, and along the way, the casting changed quite a bit. Originally, it was going to be Robert Redford and Candace Bergen playing the two young lovers, Benjamin and Elaine, with Doris Day in the role of Mrs. Robinson. I think I can understand why I'm disgusting to you. Of course, that role went to Anne Bancroft, who played opposite Dustin Hoffman. He was only six years younger than she was. It was his first movie role, and it not only made him a big star, but it helped redefine just what kind of person could become a movie star. I enjoy it. I look forward to it. It's the one thing I have to look forward to. At the time, The Graduate was notable for its sexual candor, something that was newly possible with the collapse of the old production code. It also shed light on what would come to be called the generation gap, and it used pop music in a really interesting and novel way. August, die she must. The songs of Simon and Garfunkel that Mike Nichols used don't just comment on the action or underscore the emotions, they actually produce a new level of complexity to the themes and feelings that the movie is exploring. A love once new has now Now, The Graduate is often remembered as a touchstone of the 1960s, and it certainly captures a lot of the uneasy feeling of those times, but it does it without any overt references to the social and political upheavals that we associate with that decade. And for that reason, it never feels dated. Because a vision softly creeping This movie is always relevant because it captures what it is to be young, to be in your early 20s, to be adrift, restless, confused, skeptical. And The Graduate seems especially resonant at a time when nobody seems to have any idea what the future has in store. Now streets of cobblestone, beneath a halo of 